Kaya Gerber and Jacob Alordi just took a big step in their relationship. Over Halloween weekend, the supermodel shared photos of her couple's costume with the Euphoria star, marking their first picture together on Instagram. Kaya transformed into Priscilla Presley, wearing the perfect lavender eyeshadow and a voluminous 70s bouffant. Jacob matched her as Elvis, embodying the king of rock and roll's style and effortless cool to a T. Kaya simply captioned the photos with a purple heart and tagged their glam team, makeup artist Sam Visser and hairstylist Charlie Lomondu. Sam and Charlie also spilled details on the Halloween transformation to Vogue. Sam told the magazine, Kaya had sent me the idea, as there was a specific photo of Priscilla and Elvis that they wanted to recreate. And Charlie said of their hair, for me, the most important thing was the match. I needed to keep the sexy feeling, but not make it too extreme. It was easy, as they are such a beautiful couple anyway. Adding, but I married both their hairstyles with a shine, so it looked like both of them had a matching shimmer. Kaya and Jacob's big relationship milestone comes nearly two months after they were first linked together. Back in September, they were photographed multiple times holding hands out and about in New York City. And weeks later, Jacob reportedly accompanied his new girlfriend on a vacation to Mexico with her famous parents, Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber. And it seems like that went well. A Kaya source recently told Us Weekly, Kaya is having a lot of fun with Jacob. Her family thinks he's a stand-up guy and a breath of fresh air. The catwalk queen previously dated Pete Davidson, while Jacob split from his Kissing Booth star, Joey King, last year. Back in July, he told Access Hollywood all about his experience on the set of the franchise's sequel. Literally, I finished Euphoria after like two night shoots and then got on an airplane and flew to Africa. Um, so there was a dramatic shift there in sort of what I was doing mentally. Um, but there was a nice calm in, um, in going back to Africa and being able to settle into something that I knew how to do and you know knew what, what to expect and uh, with friends around and stuff like that. So. And as an actor, you just said it was two, two different projects. So how did you handle all of that? Uh, I just winged it, you know? I just, um, there wasn't much I could do about it. Hey, so I kind of just, I feel like Africa was like a, uh, I feel like uh, a long, um, a long sleep is going to be the wrong word, but I was so exhausted the entire shoot because I'd just come off essentially eight months of filming that I kind of just, you know, then flew however many hours to Africa. I kind of just never really woke up, I don't think. I just kind of got through it, you know? I mean, it works. Hmm. It well, totally hopefully. works. Now, this is kind of funny, but when the trailer dropped, a lot of people on Twitter, yes, I know it can be a dark place, said hmm. you looked, quote, miserable. So can you set the record straight for us? Because I assume that's not the case. No, no. I don't have a resting miserable face. People always think I look, it's because, you know what it is? It's because I'm, I'm usually thinking a lot about something like, in an insane amount about something ridiculous. I just did an interview before and she asked me a question and I didn't even hear her say the question because I was thinking about something. So I think that is, uh, that's what happens. And then also people, please, he's like a moody dude, you know? He is. He's like a moody, uh, a moody guy, you know? He's not running around like Ugh. doing Smiling. wild kill time, you know? So um, no, I wasn't miserable. I was bloody <laughs> I'm tired. glad to hear it. Yeah, quote that, please. I had a blast. 